What it do ski, it's your boy Fable34 and today I'm here with my reaction video to Stargate SG-1. This one is episode 5. How's it going everyone? So last episode, uh, wasn't the biggest fan of it. It was the one uh, that was featured, um, it's featured a new planet and well, I'm pretty sure all of them are going to feature a new planet. Uh, but it was focused on uh, a sexist one and how it treated, they treated um, Katniss and Matthew. So. Uh, wasn't the biggest fan of that one, but let's see how this one goes. So as always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, with that being said, let's just dive into SG-1. Yeet. <laughs> Raw XD. When we disregard the Came last the one as story. point of origin, let me guess, that's where we're going. Very good, Kurt. Thank you, this sir. This guy. I pride myself. It appears to be very dark where the gate resides on this planet. Spooky episode confirmed. They're waiting for us when we come through. See, that's <laughs> boys. That's why the SG3 Marines are coming with. Oh, SG3. Count on us to watch your backsides. Actually, it's, it's more my front side I was worried about. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. In the last episode of Doctor Who that I saw, one of the companions just went through this teleporter without letting the doctor know. Not entirely sure what's on the other side and she just went there was a pathogen involved in the episode like you're supposed to wonder first thing what the heck's on the other side will i die and see right there then passed he's gonna survive very long in this series all right <clears throat> oh, i can see the pixels <laughs> all right let's do it turn into splinter cell oh. He's like Neanderthals? Jesus. The Broca Devar. It looks like we passed the part where they found fire. Where those rocks coming from? There. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Every time, like, half the time when I'm watching Stargate, I feel like I'm watching some, like, a group of people LARPing. Let us take you to the Land of Light. The Land of Light? Please. Let's see if we can get a hint uh, towards the bigger planet for this season. They are the touched. They were unfortunate enough to be cursed by the Hilksha. They became too dangerous, and we were forced to banish them to the land of the dark. Mm -hmm. They are generation. Dead be gods. Whatever. <laughs> but art appreciation is not what this mission is about. Get your That's fair. Yeah, I, I agree. I think I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm with Anil on that one. Like, no need to waste time. Unless SG3 pulls some head ass shit. Well, I guess this is where the divide element of the episode pops in. He founded modern craniometry to study craniums and brains and to compare. Yeah, them okay, uh, okay, this is what I'm saying. I'm like, is he just giving him a dirty look because he, he, he's, he looks black? I don't know. I don't know. But now there's something. Is he a ghoul I I'm not too sure because that right there. Was not normal. Mankind. Fascinating. <laughs> Holy shit! He put him on pause real quick. Oh, he's touched. Uh, duh. Oh, everyone's getting touched this episode. Yo, shit always just goes down when they come back from the Stargate. First Kowalski, now this? Like, I need to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> Feels Jim Carrey for a second, too. Well, not like this. Right on the. No, no, no. Carter, what's gotten into you? Everyone's compromised this episode. Any idea what's causing it? Wish I knew. I got calls Yeah, how did it spread? That's why I'm, I'm kind of confused. Got one hand tied me. Top Savage. You should be flattered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that like a flex? Because I care about her. I care about her. What does that mean? It means oh, I care God. about her. She's my friend. From Maria. Everyone's gonna <laughs> got it. <laughs> this was a lot of fun. You know, you know what, when it starts, it's pretty gruesome. Like, it, it's, 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 it feels lighthearted, but I mean, we have people dying. Darker subject matters popping up in each episode. And we're only like five deep. Four, technically. Numbering, but, because the first one was an hour and a half. But, um, yeah. More like a, a parasitical virus. And Ooh, what I can tell, it seems called to that. Well, that beats me. You're the doctor, doctor. Uh, maybe I have a natural immunity. 
Yeah. Perhaps you will develop symptoms later. Oh, Thank you. Maybe the officer will order that. Time. I'm checking. I'm ordering this mountain sealed off. No one comes in or goes out until we get a handle on this thing. Well, it's a quarantine episode now. <sighs> Jesus. Well, sir, my recommendation is that anyone attempting to leave the mountain should be shot on sight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's escalated quickly. You're immune. I don't know anyone else who is. <laughs> He's stressing, oh my god. Alright, we got a, a Daniel and Tilk episode. I think it's the first time we've seen him use a machine gun. Well, I guess it's the end of the series. <laughs> oh, Running out of places god. to put all the victims, we've used the Briggs, we've used. Yes, ma'am. This is so creepy. Wants if... to die? I'm not honest. I'm not entirely sure. Cream. 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 I'm afraid not, Colonel. It's very real. Why is his arm? That guy's. What the? This, is that a real arm? Or is he just that Jack? Is it? Is the rest of his body look real? But that one arm just look massive. I expect to find you gone. Lost his friends he just made after joining SG-1. Just got left by them, this, these people. But he's a solo man on a mission. Oh, shit. Ooh, I don't like needles. I don't like needles. Specifically when we're taking, taking blood. How does this help us? Well, as I said before, <laughs> this microbe is a histaminolytic. It feeds on histamine. Point. We have to try mega doses of chlorpheniramine malleate on someone and see if it works. No. I thought you might say that. I mean, no, I, I, I don't think anything long lasting will happen. Man, needles seem outdated. Fucking put a USB 3 port in, honestly. Like, <laughs> figure something else out, man. Like, Lucy, I'm home. I am not Lucy. I know that. It's a reference to an old people. Stuff works. Let's find out. Alright. And they're back. Knowing Daniel, I still have to try to get the characters. He probably mingled with them and he's gonna have them all changed. Oh, <laughs> or not. <laughs> Put him in the isolation circle. We will hear you. As we've been saying to blow, it's not a curse, it's a disease. A sickness. Jack. Mm -hmm. We know how to lift the curse. Well, if you are not God. Come out there with us, we'll show you. To quote the ninth doctor, everyone lives. Well, they're not dead, but they're, you know. I was concerned. You were? Sure. If it doesn't heal properly, you'll never wear that sweet little tank top number again. Got him. And that was Stargate SG-1. This one was the Broca Divide. Um, I kind of find this to be like a little bit of a guilty pleasure episode. I didn't think it was great by any means, but I thought the idea of they're going to another uh, to this planet and then there end up being a virus uh and them being sort of these like primal creatures and then when they go back to earth they start turning into them slowly uh i thought i made for some like a pretty pretty interesting like uh mystery initially um was executed the best yeah not really i thought it was cool to see o'neill uh not just being the smart aleck and in charge the entire episode i would like to see i liked to, i liked seeing him in a vulnerable state for this episode um there's a little bit of emotion there as well. I think Teal got um, a focal point this episode in leading the team once all of his comrades are down. So I appreciated that aspect to this episode. A little cringe here and there. And I kind of, I kind of I, I found the idea of the primal aspect to be absurd, but uh, it, it was something about it was, it was, it was kind of fun at the same time. Um, so that being said, that was season one, episode five of Stargate. Um, I thought the other planet, the this, the characters there were pretty dull. I feel like there's 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 a few half baked ideas in here, uh, 
but I don't think I disliked it as much as, as I did the last episode. I still found it pretty enjoyable um, as you're just going along this journey. But guys, that was Stargate SG-1 episode 5. What do you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, if you enjoyed this one, then definitely be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. Uh, but yeah, what do you think about this one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Yeah, that's it for this one, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.